Maggie's Encore, a heartwarming tale of a music-loving shelter dog by Danielle La Rosa. Encore sat alone in his big metal crate. The dog shelter wasn't at all like a real house, but it was the only home Encore knew. His floppy ears hung down the sides of his long face. His small size and brown and white markings were typical of a hound dog. But what made Encore different was his true love of music. He sang and danced all day and all of the night. He howled early in the morning all day long and kept it going in the still of the night. Encore sang about everything. He sang happy songs, sad songs, country songs, and even old time rock and roll songs. But mostly he sang straight from the heart about someday finding his very own forever home. Someday, said Encore, I will find someone just like me who loves music and wants to sing and dance. He knew that somewhere out there was the right person for him. One day he would find a groovy kind of love. Encore sang, Please come find me and take me home. Sing and dance with me, make me your own. I may be loud, but I'm lovable too. And I've been saving all my love for you. Encore was as happy as a shelter dog could be. The owner, Mrs. Robinson, was a lovely lady and treated him very well. She gave him plenty of attention and lots of treats and even let him splish splash in the bath for hours. Encore knew he was loud, but he was born this way. He just couldn't help it. But Mrs. Robinson liked to keep the shelter quiet. She always said, Encore, settle down when he was singing and dancing. Encore wasn't the leader of the pack. And even though all of the dogs did get along, no one loved music as much as Encore. I want to dance with somebody, Encore sang. But sweet Caroline, the poodle was very shy and quiet and would never dance. Gloria, the Pomeranian, was a good girl, but she was no dancing queen. She covered her ears with her paws whenever Encore sang. Austin, the bulldog, listened to Encore sing, but never joined in. Encore felt lonely. He sang even longer and even louder. Please come find me and take me home. Sing and dance with me. Make me your own. Families came to the shelter every day. They always covered their ears as they walked past Encore. The howling and the singing was too much for them. They wanted calm, quiet dogs. They never even gave Encore a second chance. He continued to sing. I know I'm loud, but I'm lovable too. And I've been saving all my love for you. When Encore sang, They tried to look away. Then they ran towards a different crate to fuss over a calmer, quieter dog. Encore 
watched with disappointment as customers took other dogs home with them. Here I go again, he said to himself, but I know how I will survive. One day, a little boy walked into the shelter and ran right to Encore's crate. Encore sat up nice and tall and wagged his tail. Then he sang his loudest, best song ever! Maybe this is it! Maybe today is the day I will find my forever home! Come on, Daniel! The little boys. Mama said, That dog is too loud. There are quieter dogs in the shelter. As they walked away, Encore slumped down to the floor. With tears in his eyes, he sang, Please come and find me and take me home. Sing and dance with me, make me your own. I know I'm loud, but I'm lovable too. And I've been saving all my love for you. The days went by and Encore continued to sing and dance and play with the other dogs. He helped watch over the new puppies that came in and enjoyed his time with Mrs Robinson. Then, one morning, out of the blue, a little girl with curly blonde hair walked into the shelter with her mother. Encore thought to himself, who's that girl? The little girl didn't run past Encore. In fact, she stopped right in front of his crate. She opened the latch and Encore walked out to meet her. She smiled as she knelt down beside him. She whispered in his ear, Hello, my name is Maggie and I walk past the shelter every day on my way home from school. I hear you singing through the windows. I love to sing too. Encore couldn't believe his floppy ears. I sing and dance all day long, the little girl continued. I know you are louder than the other dogs, but that is because you have a song in your heart, just like me. I think we belong together. Maggie's mom talked to Mrs Robinson for a few minutes. Then they signed some papers. Encore left the shelter that day. He and Maggie were better together. They both had a song in their heart and music in their soul. In each other, they found the greatest love of all. Now, ask an adult to choose a few songs in blue. Sing and dance together like Maggie and Encore do. Home sweet home. The end. We hope that you loved Maggie's Encore, a heartwarming tale of a music-loving shelter dog by Danielle La Rosa. Buy the book and read and sing along. Go to www.daniellelarossawrites.com and check out more exciting titles by the same author.